Good morning, and thanks for joining us for today's webinar on ERP software validation for life science companies. I'm Dee Bowers, and I'll be your host. First, let's go over how to use the webinar pane. On the right side of your monitor, you should see the webinar pane in an orange arrow. Clicking this arrow will allow you to toggle the tray between the open and closed position. You should also see a small chat window. Please feel free to type in questions throughout the presentation. We'll address those at the end of the webinar during our Q&A session as time allows. Okay, on to the audio settings. On your GoToWebinar pane, uh, you should see an area for audio settings. You'll have the option of using your telephone or using your mic and speakers. So if you're using your computer, please select choose, uh, use mic and speakers. If you have the wrong option selected, you will hear, hear an echo. Last of all, our webinar participants will receive an email within 48 hours with a link to the recorded webinar and slide deck. Now that we've gone over the meeting software, I'd like to introduce you to our presenters. First, we have Tim Horgan. Tim is an ERP planning and implementation expert with over 10, 20 years of systems integration consulting experience. His clients include high-growth startup, mid-market, and large FDA-regulated companies. Tim is also a Microsoft Dynamics certified implementer and knowledgeable on Microsoft Dynamics AX, GP CRM, and multiple competing products. I'm also pleased to present Jim Kerr, Vice President of the Life Science Commercial Practice at USA Data Management. Jim leads the Life Science Commercial Practice at USDM and helps life science customers implement, validate ERP, MES, and PLM systems. Jim is uh, a recognized life science industry expert with over 17 years of leadership experience in life science and corporate environments. It's great to have you, Jim. And with that, I'm going to turn the presentation over to Tim. Great. Thanks, Dee, and hello and welcome, everyone. Uh, for those of you that are new to the life science industry and for all of those of you who are uh, looking for insight on how to run your software validation portion of your ERP implementation, I think you're going to find today's presentation very useful. So here's our agenda. Uh, today's presentation is focused on the key elements needed to perform ERP software validation. We'll cover why validation is important, uh, give you some context and define the terms that you need to know. We'll also talk about how to conduct your ERP software validation project in terms of your overall ERP implementation. Um, we'll go deeper on some of the key regulations uh, that you need to know, and we'll share insights on what to think about along the way. Uh, as Dee said, we'll close with a wrap-up session, and we'll have time for Q&A at the end. Also, before we move forward, let me make two more quick points. One is uh, there's a lot of text on our slides. Um, it's there for your reference after we um, uh, make those available to you. We won't drain every slide. And we'll be using a tag team approach with Jim and I. Uh, I'll do, go ahead and do basically the frame up and the context for, the, for what you need to know. And then we'll call on Jim to dive into some of the more uh, technical aspects and, and provide some of his deep insight. Great. All right. So let's start with some context on what regulations, standards, and processes apply to a new ERP implementation. So depending on the life sciences product your company sells, there are multiple regulations that may apply. Um, these will vary by product and country. In the U.S., there are regulations defined by the, the Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, but also agencies like the DEA or um, regulations such as HIPAA that are around uh, patient privacy. But today's focus, again, is on FDA regulations specifically. In Europe, or if you're selling in Europe, there's also similar type regulations uh, referred to as the EU Annex 11 section of legislation that will also apply. Now, the regulators uh, for these different uh, product types and, 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 and geographic areas seek to unify and harmonize their standards, but it is important to note that there are differences between such a, things as pharmaceutical products and medical device products, and there are differences country to country, but largely they are very similar. It's actually the role of your quality assurance and regulatory affairs departments to actually track which specific regulations apply to your product offerings. So in terms of planning your new ERP implementation, those are the folks you want to start with to make sure that you incorporate them into your requirement set. Now in terms of industry standards, these are our